Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're going to do something I haven't done before. We're going to pour on a vase with a strainer. I'm really excited about this. I'm using the Arteza Pouring Acrylic Colors. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, these are pre-mixed pouring paints. You don't have to do anything to them. You just use them right out of the box. And I am using a 10 by 10 inch canvas. So the amount of paint that I'm putting in my bowl will be enough to cover the canvas specifically. And then that should be enough to also cover the vase. So I'm using a variety of blues and greens with a hint of pink and purple as well. So this is some neon pink. I just want to have that in there to have some color pop. And then this is a neon purple, which is one of my favorite colors in this set. This set comes with um, 28 different colors. It comes with 32 bottles. And they give you four whites and two blacks because those are the colors you use most often, of course. And it is fun to be able to use such a wide variety of colors and to not have to mix them all yourself. And I am also using some bronze. Okay, that should be enough. Pretty excited about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the vase on here. I'm going to put the strainer on top of the vase and pour into the strainer. Just gonna make sure that the camera's all set. All right, here we go. So it appears this is going to give us already a much more blended look. But I think it's going to be awesome. You can see the lines, especially when we've got the white in there, which is a high contrast color with the other colors. I think it's going to be pretty darn cool. So I like to just let it sit here for a couple minutes and drain and do its thing. And then actually I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. And then we'll take the vase off of the canvas as soon as it slows down. All right, so it's slowed down quite a bit. I'm going to just carefully lift it up by the cup and set it aside. Don't worry too much if you accidentally touch the bottom of the vase or anything because it's gonna continue to run for a few more hours. So if you get any fingerprints or anything on there, they'll just be wiped out. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the canvas. If you guys haven't seen um, any of my vase pours before, I'll go ahead and put a link for one in the description. But probably my favorite thing about doing the vase pours is the pattern that it gives you on the canvas which always gives you kind of a feathered look. Just like that. Awesome. So let's go ahead and we'll let these sit here for a little while. Let them move around and then we'll do our close up on both. Okay, we're back. I let this drain for quite a while. Um, at first I thought it was way too stripey. <laughs> But I'm a lot happier with it now. I actually like the blended look. Um, I think I'm definitely going to try this again with the strainer and do it as a clean pour instead of a dirty pour, meaning one color at a time. So kind of a little more deliberate on the colors. But let's go ahead and do our close up. So here's our canvas. You can see that feathered look that it gets. And then 
the vase. Still has the uh, strainer design on the top, but I actually really like how this came out color-wise. And because I'm always going to get the question of how do I seal it, the vases I seal with resin. And the canvases I seal multiple different ways. I seal the vase with resin because that way you can wash it. It'll be really durable. The canvas, it's going to hang on the wall so you can seal it however you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to check down in the description for all of the materials that I have used for this project. And I'll also post a link um, for how I seal the vases with resin. And otherwise, I will see you all next time.